Sir, I, all I'm saying is this policy, you have to talk to the clerk if you're going to videotape in the court, court, court house. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. The proceedings start at uh, 9.30. And I just wanted to thank you all for coming. We greatly appreciate your attendance, especially on this wintry morning in the middle of spring, so far. <laughs> We're here because we believe in freedom of choice and education. And it's essential that we behave ourselves well today and that we always present, our, our put our best foot forward and put, put the best face upon a, a situation that we think is going to move in our direction. All we are asking, you see, in, in, in this, all we are asking is that parents of the poorer families in our state be allowed to choose the education that they desire for their children. That is not too much to ask. But it's important for us to remember that I hear a lot of talk about when we want to have a change here, we want to have these families have a chance. It's not because we want to tweak the system. It's because ultimately within the context of public education versus private education, public education is the education of political correctness. Okay, that's Andrew uh, Hemingway, he's a candidate for governor. And uh, Jim Rubin's a candidate for uh, the Fed Senate seat, uh, just came up to me and said hi. I may try to interview both of them if I can later on today, uh, after this is over. $2,000 there, and you get, to, you get to take a tax credit of 85% of that against whatever BBT, BBT you might owe. And it, you know, depending if they're... If they're I beg your pardon? You can't video in here. Is there a law that prohibits no, you? Have, do you uh, I'm just going by policy, but do you have uh, permission from the courts? Am I required to get permission by law? I'm, I'm just asking what I have to go through and the policies I have. I mean, to tell me what the IRSA is. I'm all ears. Sir, I, all I'm saying is this policy, you have to talk to the clerk if you're going to videotape in the court, court, court house. I've seen it done before here. Shall we go on? we check in on the I mean, I guess while you've got the camera, I won't be filming you. I'm just going by the policy. So what do I get from uh, Just go to the clerk's office. You can keep this stuff here. Just go to the clerk's it? office, right down that hallway to the end, and then you can uh, ask him if you can report. Right in there? Good enough. Okay, there you go. All right, so. I'm maybe in disagreement with you, but I appreciate your meaning. God, thank you. Uh, but no, it's just policy that we have to go by. So if you just, I'll hold your stuff here. You can just go to the clerk's office and uh, receive uh, permission. You'll be all set. I actually don't need to film in there. Huh? Actually, e even in the court, in the courtroom itself, or in the courthouse itself. So are you going to hold my stuff until I get permission? Yeah. Well, if not, you can just you can leave anytime you like. Oh, sure. Okay. I have to think about this. Right. And you said it was down there? Yep, right down there with the clerk's office. The recorder is still running. I know. All right, so I would like to, I would like to record the process of asking for permission. Uh, I wanted to ask for permission. Just go down there and that uh, you have to have a written notice and you have to sign a paperwork.
get my first amendment? Policy. I'm glad you're calling it policy and not law. Mm -hmm. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.